So today, I'm going to be using the Naginata and prove that daggers aren't the only super powerful weapon. If you want to support me for free, then make sure to subscribe. Let's get into this. All right, so we just spawned in. Um, I'm not going to be using any pets. That way I can't just, you know, use fairies and then just say that the Naginata was doing all the work. I'll just spend a while poking this fox. The spear is um kind of annoying because it takes a little bit of time to level up with, but the Naginata is actually decent for game materials and stuff. So once I get to that, um, I'll be good. Now I chose I need spikes and I need the shield because with the Naginata it's got far range, but if someone gets close to you, it's um hard to like actually hit them. So if you have the shield, then you just play spikes and um they have to back up. And then that's when you can actually hit them with the Naginata. And I've killed a bunch of people like really quickly using that strategy. I, this guy's problem is he can't actually hit me because he's on his bear and the bear's too large. He's slowly losing health. We're not gonna talk about that, okay? That never happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, there's some of the fairies. We're gonna stay away. Does that person have a level 43 or 42 armadillos? Kind of um, impressive. Yeah, um, I have seemed to have worked myself into another very interesting situation. I'm gonna get the boost pad, and then now I can get the baby wings, which um, makes the spear and the Naginata do more damage. Although it doesn't say the Naginata does, but it, it does. It increases the damage, at least I think, we'll test. 56 versus 48, yep, it definitely increases it. I mean like 40 damage with, with that, Pretty good. Oh, we got some people that could be um victims. There's one. There we go. Got him. Got another dude. I've got the most kills already. I'm in Atlanta 1. That's like pretty much the most populated server all day, every day. There's a lot of people who play on it. Bro, <laughs> what? Oh, that was perfect, except um, it did nothing to the moth. You know, with this hat on, it, it my skin looks like some sort of weird demon. Cause like, you can see the white from like the tip of the top teeth, which makes it look like eyes. <laughs> the long range is so nice. Even if people are running away, I can still just like, spin around and poke them. Why the free kill? Okay, this guy's running around with like basically zero health. No. There we go. You know, it doesn't really help that this totem is surrounded by walls because I can just reach it from here. Now granted, it would take a while to break it, but if you're really dedicated, you could. I, I saw the top of that and for some reason thought it was a giant scorpion head. No, I was slightly confused. Bro. It's just not gonna work. Everyone just keeps running at me to try to kill me. Because I'm a fire badge. Or maybe just because they think they can kill me.
Bro, I placed one spike and he almost died. <laughs> there was like that passed right through him, but yet didn't kill him. Okay then. That was interesting. I almost caught him. That guy was so polite. <laughs> oh, it does so much damage to animals. It's like crazy how much it does. There we go. Didn't even have to use a boost pad. That's nice. What is this? Is this some sort of weird outline? Oh, it's the shadow overlaid on top of the rock. That just looks weird, though. This, I can't get this B off of me. So I can't hit it. But if I spin like this, I can actually hit it and get it away from me, which is kind of cool. One glitch I've noticed is that like right here, this foot, it gets cut off flat. Same with the mantis leg for the adult and the boss, which is kind of weird. It doesn't, it's just like ends in a flat thing like that. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I like how um, his mantis just pushed him into the spikes. My guy, you do know you're like at five health. Well, this is awkward. Bruh, he went back to the same spot. What went on over here? This dude has a unicorn, but he's also AFK. Bro. Seriously. I knew he was going to come through, so I just waited a little bit longer to place the spike. I guess. Yeah. See, I knew that was coming somewhere. Oh, I accidentally clicked the chain button. Not on purpose. Oh, if I switch back in time. Bro. Wow. <clears throat> oh, another AFK person. Interesting. There we go, that's the move I've been talking about. Double spike, and then just switch to the Naganata, and then just poke the person. Bro. <laughs> That's funny. Bro, the wrong dude got the kill. That's annoying. Anyways, that's going to be all for the video. If you guys enjoyed and want to see more content like this, then make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.